Hello, I'm Lawrence Fishburne. The world of finance and technology have collided, creating what is known today as FinTech. The thought leaders behind this industry understand the need for creative and innovative solutions. Here's one such story. dream car, owning a home, even getting a job can all come down to one thing, our credit score. Credit scores and financial health power some of the most important decisions of our lives. Yet the credit world is elusive and at times can feel like it's working against the people it aspires to help. Financial institutions aren't necessarily built and equipped to service consumers in the way that the 21st century demands. The result of the financial shifts to moving more towards technology has left a lot of banks and credit unions and financial institutions in general struggling to kind of serve their consumers due to the fact that a lot of them were built with the idea that actual human beings, customer service representatives would be the lever by which they actually serve their consumers. And now that the experience has moved to be more of an online digital one, they're kind of left hanging out to dry to go make shifts and changes. And what we're finding is that financial institutions are really struggling with ways to service their customers efficiently. Lenders are often concerned about getting paid back. It's really their primary concern when they're lending money. And so they'll look at a credit or borrower's history to try and determine if they're going to behave similarly in the future. And if you're young, you don't have much history. So you're taking a guess and they get very conservative when they have to guess. So they'll deny credit for somebody who might be very capable of managing it but they have no track record. I think what we find is that there's a deep disconnect between how consumers expect to kind of learn about their products and how financial institutions actually understand the consumer in context of their lives currently. Innovations in the fintech space are helping to bridge this gap by leveraging data science and studying consumer behavior. With this information, companies like Bloom Credit can help empower financial institutions with relevant insights and help them guide their consumers towards financial well-being. Financial institutions built their products in mind with transactions rather than relationships. And so when someone applies for a loan, oftentimes the idea in mind is how do we service this one particular loan rather than how do we nurture this relationship? When you look at what financial institutions need, a lot of it is actually finding the tools and services that make it easy for them to service the consumer holistically and understand the needs of every aspect of their financial lives, whether that be increasing income, or whether that be understanding how to lower their debt to income ratio. Finding services that make that easy with technology is really what financial institutions need to start bridging that gap. You hear things like 70% of Americans don't have $1,000 if they need it, and we live in a wealthy country, so you have to start thinking, are the tools really working for consumers? And so there's an opportunity here to start innovating on the interface and how we're interacting with consumers through mobile, through using data, through personalization, to create an experience that's delivering better results for the consumer. These financial decisions that we're making today really have an impact on your life and allow you to get excited about your future. We hope this program has served as an inspiration to you. Be sure to join us next time as we continue to profile the thought leaders impacting business. I'm Lawrence Fishburne.